India is surrounded not just by hostile borders, but by nations racing to outgun us. The wars of tomorrow won't be fought with the weapons of yesterday, and the question is, will India lead or bleed? Today we reveal three future weapons India must not only invest in, but master. Because in the next war, victory won't go to the biggest army. It'll go to the nation with the boldest vision and deadliest tech. What if India could burn enemy missiles mid-flight? What if we didn't intercept threats? We vaporized them with light. Welcome to the era of directed energy weapons. Why India must invest now. China is developing Star Wars-style anti-satellite lasers. The US already tested 100 kilowatt class lasers on warships. Pakistan may beg China for hand-me-downs. To shoot down drones, missiles, and even satellites silently. No ammunition needed, just power and precision. Integrate with Brahma's defense grid, S-400, and future Indian satellites. India once worshipped Agni. It's time to wield his fire through photons. While enemies bleed money on ammo, we'll fire light again and again. Diardo has made progress, but it's not enough. We need 200 kilowatt plus naval grade lasers, portable battlefield units, space-based DUs. Don't invest in lasers tomorrow when your enemies are building them today. Brahmos was a revolution, but Brahmos the second, that's just the ignition switch. The next real game changer, hypersonic glide vehicles. Why India must dominate this race? HGVs fly at Mach 5, Mach 20, zigzag through the atmosphere. No radar can predict, no system can track, no enemy can escape. China's DFZF and Russia's avant-garde already operational. India has Shaurya and HSTDV prototypes, but we need operational deployment. Warhead-capable HGVs, mid-course maneuverable gliders, dual-use, nuclear plus precision strike. Pakistan's current interceptors are useless against hypersonics. China fears loss of naval dominance if India deploys ship-killing HGVs. In the next war, the winner won't be the one who strikes first, but the one who strikes fastest. If Brahmos was the spear, hypersonics are the thunderbolt. Drones are no longer toys. They are tactical nightmares. Now imagine hundreds of them flying together, swarming coordinating, killing. Welcome to AI-powered combat drone swarms. What makes them terrifying? Each drone is expendable, but their swarm is unstoppable. Suicide drones plus AI plus swarm algorithms equals modern-day locusts with payloads. Can jam radars, blind S-400S, overwhelm tanks, and assassinate high-value targets. Harpy drones are good, but we need swarm-based loitering munitions, AI wingmen and carrier-based UCAVs. China uses AI drone swarms to train its air force. Ukraine-Russia war proved. Even billion-dollar SAMs can be taken down by $1.50K drones. The future air force won't need pilots, just code, courage and control. Let's stop buying drones. Let's build flocks that hunt. Fast-track Diardo's cats, Warrior and Alpha swarm drones integrate with Tejas MAC-1A, TEDUF and future naval carriers. India is no longer the sleeping elephant, but an awakening titan to protect 1.4 billion hearts. And borders stretching from Ladakh to Lakshadweep, we must evolve. In war, you don't rise to the occasion, you fall to your level of preparation. If you want peace, prepare not just for battle, but for dominance. Should India lead the weapons of tomorrow or keep playing catch-up? Comment your answer, like, share, and ignite the debate India desperately needs.